66, 529.9 for Matt Cummings. The final scoop here at Summit Motorsports Park, Norwalk, Ohio, has been dished out for the NHRA Summit Racing Equipment Nationals. We were expecting weather, though we haven't seen it, but it did create a fast-paced race to make sure that it did get in on this race Sunday. In top alcohol dragster, it was a story of those leading the points going out early. Jackie Frick, fifth in points, out round one. Sean Cowie, out round two. Tony Stewart, out round two as well, falling victim to Matt Cummings, a McPhillips racing teammate. And national points leader Julie Natus, also out round two, falling victim to the lone wolf out here in competition, Kirk Wolf. I really can't complain. I've got a, a main sponsor, Kentex, out here. He's uh, actually been crewing on the car all weekend, and uh, we're out here just having fun. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a handful of races this year. Work keeps me pretty busy, so I uh, figured I'd come out and spoil some people's chances at the championship and win a Wally. You're definitely accomplishing that. Clue us in. Where are you from, and what do you do? Introduce yourself so people understand more about Mr. Wolf. I'm uh, from Midland, Texas, out oil and gas industry. I've been doing it for 10 plus years. It uh, keeps me away from racing quite a bit, but uh, like I said, I can get away a few times a year and get to race, so why not take the chance when I can? And like I said, my Kentech sponsor, you can't thank him enough because he's the one that talked me into coming back out and racing again since I took kind of a two-year break from racing, and uh, now I'm back out here. Now I'm back addic addicted to it, so ready to race, maybe pick up a few more races this year and next year. Certainly a rising star in NHRA drag racing is Cody Crone. Cody, Sean Cowie, out. Tony Stewart, out. Julie Natus, out. Door is wide open. Can you walk through it? We're hoping we can walk right through it and go down all the way to the finals and take home the Wally and that big ice cream scooper. The semifinals comprised of individuals that thus far in 2023 had not won a national event. Madison Payne went up against Cody Crone and Matt Cummings went up against Kirk Wolf. Matt Cummings has to go to another final round. Matt Cummings got a number two on that track here. He won the world one year ago. Trying to make it three in a row here. With Cody Crone and Kirk Wolf advancing to the final round, we were guaranteed a first-time national event winner here at the NHRA Summit Racing Equipment Nationals. Somebody wins for the first time. We're done with Top Alcohol Dragster Racing here at Summit Motorsports Park. I imagine no one had Kirk Wolf on their bet list to win, but you beat them all here to get a scoop. Yes, sir. Like I said, we uh, we come in the race. Knew we had a solid car. We I wouldn't have entered with the 24 cars were here. Like I said, I think the top 10 in the nation last year were here. So kind of intimidating, but I knew Chase and Clay had a tune-up in it. and. Uh, I was, once we went that 22 and qualifying, I was like, we got this. All I had to do is do my job. And I did it through all three rounds today. I did it. So, uh, like I said, I'm 
kind of one of the emotional deals because it took 37 years to win a Wally, and uh, my mom and sister are here, and my gran I always told my grandpa after he, you know before he passed away, I was like, I'll get a Wally for you one day. So it's it's one of those surreal deals that uh, it, it's it's kind of right now it feels doesn't even feel real. So I'm excited. Like I said, I love Norwalk Raceway Park here, or Summit Motorsports Park. Is now Bill Bader was actually down there. He, Shook my hand, gave me the ice cream scoop. I've always wanted that too, and I finally had my first big Wally. So, uh, like I said, it's uh, I was going to work tomorrow, but I'm calling in sick now. <laughs> in Top Alcohol Funny Car, it's honestly a showcase of the top competitors, and one in particular who made a big statement for the national championship. Sean Bellamere had a bye in the second round, but it was a big matchup between Doug Gordon and Matt Gill to see who would go to the semifinals. Though Matt Gill got past Doug Gordon, it did not get any easier going into the semifinals. He had a semifinal matchup against Bob McCosh, who has certainly been running strong and has revamped his program and has been clear that he wants to win a national championship. Sean Bellamere would go up against Phil Ez, which, by the way, this national event was his first ever national event round win first ever national round two win and first ever national event semifinal appearance. The Killer Bees, the Bartone Brothers racing operation with Sean Bellamere at the wheel. They have been showcasing stout performance this year. They come into this event as the points leader. They also won the regional here, so they certainly know how to win at Norwalk. But Bob McCosh was certainly not deterred. He wanted his first ever national event win and get that ice cream scoop. Final round, opportunity for your first Wally, and it's been a good points day. Just one more above you, Sean Bellamere. Can you take him out? One left. Sean's beat me every final round. Maybe it's my day. Give it our best. And year after year, looking to punch one into the winner's circle. If Bob McCock wants the trophy and includes the ice cream scoop, he's going to have to beat one of the best ever, the one and two qualifiers. They've been making a living in the low 50s and the high 540s. You better not make a mistake. Bob McCosh has been waiting for a long time and he earned it today over Sean Bellamere first time as a national event winner. 40 years. I did this with my father. I lost my dad in 13. This is for my dad. First national event win in 40 years. Very special. Our crew did a phenomenal job. Bill Bader and the team at Norwalk did a phenomenal job. NHRA did a phenomenal job getting the track dry with all the weather we've had. What a way to get it done, man, over Sean Bellamer. The best of the best. Congratulations, Bob. Also, you made mention in Texas that you overhauled this team. You dumped money in it. You want to contend for a national championship. It's races like this that make you a contender. All the other top runners went out. You won it. Amen. And we're going to chase it. We'll chase it to Pomona, California if we have to, but, but we're in it to get the job done this year. We had a horrible year last year, blowing up parts and chasing gremlins. 
I think right, right now we're on the right track. If we can just keep everything right now, rolling, we'll be there. Congratulations to Kirk Wolf and congratulations to Bob McCosh. We have in Top Alcohol Funny Car and Top Alcohol Dragster two first time national event winners in the National Hot Rod Association right here at Summit Motorsports Park. I'm Lee Kraft, the Monday Morning Racer, bringing you this Top Alcohol Report brought to you by McKinney Corp.